Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you my proposed solution in this problem. So this was a problem that was raised in an Excel group and this is uh, his requirement. We, he has uh, data here and he wanted to have this kind of format here which is uh, which include a unique criteria for the sizes but a repeating criteria on the style. So this is his format. So we're going to use uh, index and match on that, but that index and match will be uh, included in an if statement. So let me solve it here. I'm going to copy and paste it uh, at the bottom here and then remove this uh, figure here. So we're going to start with the index and match and this index and match function doesn't work alone. So we're going to use an array here, which is the quantity because uh, this is the result, comma, for the row number, it will be supplied by the match. And the lookup value will be two criteria. One is the style here. Uh, use an ampersand to connect the other criteria, which is the size. Comma, the lookup array will be the same. We have the style here. And ampersand, the sizes. Okay. Comma, we're looking for exact match. Okay, close it. We do not need the column. Close it. And because uh, our match here includes two criteria, it becomes an array. We're going to use Control shift enter for that. But before that, let me properly lock this part. Also, uh, this part, we don't want to move the, the column. We don't want to move the row. And all the rest are lock, double lock, and Control shift enter Copy and paste it here. As you can see, it's wrong already. Okay. So that uh, is the result for the index and match alone because the criteria is repeating uh, the size and the style is uh, the same here and also on this part. So the index and match alone uh, doesn't solve that. So we're going to put it in an if statement. So let me just have some uh, numbering here for explanation purposes and also on this part. Okay. And then in the if statement, what we're going to do is that if this size here is equal to 1 and also the, the style is equal to 1, then return the value. If this style here is 2 and then this is 2, return the value here. All the rest are blanks. So re what we're going to do is to write the if statement here and uh, find a formula that will return a column number uh, the same like this. So we're going to use the column for that. And the reference will be any cells here for as long as it's within column A because column A is equal to 1, B is 2, and so on. Close the column. We're going to test that. If that is equal to the style here, which is repeated one time. So we're going to count it for that with an expanding range. So this is the range. Put a semicolon for that. That will become expanding comma. But we're going to lock the first part to make it an expanding range then the criteria will be the style and then uh, close the count if let me just properly lock this criteria here we don't want to move the column okay and then go back to the if statement comma if that is true execute the index and match go to the bottom comma if that is false leave it blank and then close it control shift enter then copy and paste it here. The problem is now solved. And okay, that's it. <clears throat> now let me go back to this part. Uh, what happened here is again, I will explain it. The column here is equal to one because column A is equal to one. Now the count if here is equal is also equal to one because this uh, criteria for the count if is uh, repeated one time. So this is true. That's why it has an answer here. Now, in this case, this is blank because the column is still uh, equal to 1. It's still column A. And then the count if here is now equal to 2 because in our range here, our criteria is repeated two times. That's why it's equal to 2. That is false and that is blank. Now, the same case here, it has a value because in here, we're now in column B, which is equal to 2. Now, the count if here... As you will notice, it expanded in another column, but even if that is the case at 9, 
the value is still two because our criteria is still repeated two times within that range. So that is true. That is why it has a value. So that's it. That that's what happened to the rest of the cell here. Now, when you copy another of of uh, style here, okay, okay, and then just copy the delete some of it. Copy all the formula here. That will still work. That is still uh, the same here. That's the answer. The formula is still working. But the problem here is that when you have another uh, repeating criteria here, there is no answer because we only have six criteria, unique criteria here. So the seventh criteria on this part doesn't work. So that that is uh, something to look for when you use this formula. Now, when you change the value, for example, you don't want this uh, the sequence of the style. You want a small here, while this one is XS. That will still return as the same value because of the index and match. Now, you can just remove this number in here. This is just for explanation. And that's it. That's the uh, proposed solution for this problem and uh, that's it i'm finished here i'm done if you're liking my videos you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks